<laughs> oh, this is great already. I wish there was dialogue for that. But, there's not. Are they playing the theme song in the back? I don't have headphones on, so I'm not hearing any of this. They're, they're playing the theme song. Alright, what's going on everybody? Your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza here, joined with my lovely wife, and happy Valentine's Day to everybody, Yay! by the way. Happy Th Valentine's Day! This is our very first Valentine's Day that we've gotten to spend together as a married couple, since we've been married for a whopping five days now. <laughs> and uh, we, we decided we want to do something cool. We've actually been planning this for a really long time, but it just so happened that it became perfect on Valentine's Day. And uh, we're going to play Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This was a game that she played a lot growing up because she had a Game Gear. You lucky dog, you. I didn't have one. I, I only knew a couple people that had one. And, uh, and so I never really got to play around them very much. And so what's going to happen is she's actually going to play this entire deal. She's going to beat the entire game. Um, we, we test ran this about a month or so ago. And she played through the entire game and, and molly whopped the shit out of it. And so we're just gonna we're gonna jam out for a while. We're gonna make this like a two episode deal. It t the game takes about forty to forty five minutes to beat, and uh, and there we have it. So we're just we're just gonna jam out and, and play. Yep. All the while, we can also tell you guys um, we can also tell you guys some some details about the wedding uh, since that just happened a few days ago, and it was legit. You picking? Uh... I am picking my go to favorite. I love my pink ranger. She's my girl. Some some Kimberly. Yep. Oh yeah. So more or less, the game's kind of it's kind of like a you know beat 'em up, kind of Streets of Rage e sort of thing for a little for like a minute or so. They'll just they'll throw some enemies at you like this, and then it turns into just kind of like a one on one fighter, uh, where you'll fight against like one of the boss characters. You'll see it here in a minute. These fucking putty guys. Hey, we, we actually uh, we actually were watching the show on Netflix, the original one, because all the other ones are bullshit. And uh, <laughs> it's it's so it's so funny to watch now that I'm 30, because the show is so much more campy than I remember. And even even back then, I knew that the show was pretty wild. Hey, it's Goldar, tight. Yeah, definitely gotta watch out for his weird looking clay penis sword because that that shit'll fuck you up. You can definitely, you can kind of cheese the game out a little bit. Um, there's definitely, there's definitely some moves that you can do that they're almost virtually unstoppable every time. Like that crazy, I'm gonna, you know, uh, I'm gonna like eat your face off diving down like this move. Um, and then just doing jump kicks. It's, it's kind of like, oh, it's King Sphinx, tight. It's funny, like, <laughs> I, I watched her play this and I still don't remember half of what I saw in it. Um, so, yeah, anywho, so this is, this is one of the main boss fights, you just beat him up until he's dead, and then, you know, we'll move on to another fight, oh, he's, he's dazed, yeah, yeah, beat his fucking ass, ah! Ooh. damn, he just, he gave you, like, the, the, he uh, gave me the kitten claws, he, she, well, he did, I was gonna say he gave you the, uh, Liu Kang bicycle kick, sort of thing, kinda, sorta, I don't like this little teleport shit that he does. It's kind of annoying. Um, so yeah, we uh, we got. You son of a bitch! Stop being a cock sucking weasel. Oh wow. She told me this was gonna happen. She told me at some point she was gonna start unleashing the. Uh... Just fucking die! Oh, he's going to. Don't you worry. Don't. No, you got. Oh, him. you, got you him. little son of a. You got Bitch! Him. You got him, don't worry. Luckily, uh, after every level that you beat, your your life bar does go all the way back up. So, it you do get a, a good quality full restore out of it. Come on. It's like two more hits. Two more hits. Yeah, well, if he stops... Kick him right in his Egyptian dick. Come I'm on. working on it. Oh. oh, come on. There you go. Down to the wire. Suck my nuts, bitch! Right here. And she did. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! I always thought she was funny. Yes. I Okay, when she throws the staff thing in the TV show, that pisses me off every time. Because she throws that thing from a separate planet. 
She's like, ah, make my monster bigger. And she throws it down off of another planet. And it's just like this perfect, like Nolan Ryan, just zing down to the fucking ground. And now we get to do this. Oh yeah. All the Megazord action. Holy shit. <laughs> that one, that one hit was pretty serious. Okay, now yeah, she'll, they'll, she'll she'll take care of it. So, yeah, we, we totally got married on Friday. It was super awesome. Um, we we got married in like this little place called Mission Mill. It's like kind of like a uh, a little uh, like historical museum sort of thing, and uh, and so we we got to wake up super early. We totally broke all of the standard marriage conventions of like not seeing the bride, you know, before the wedding. Well, I'm already we, pregnant. There's not much else you can really do. Well, there's that. Well, and there's also the fact that, you know, we totally, <laughs> we live in the same house already, and we only have one car, so we literally, we, we got dressed at the same time, and then we drove over to my grandma's house, because she wasn't going to be able to actually physically be at the wedding, and so she wanted to see us beforehand so she could get pictures, and so we drove over there with the kids, like, fully decked out in, in our wedding gear and uh, we you know we we did that whole thing so we already you know already broke that whole deal it was super tight though we got to take a whole bunch of pictures um, so that, that's 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 super super awesome and we had the jam for uh, for like food spread and you know how like when they do when they do like the uh, like the garter toss and all that where you have to go up under the dress to uh, to you know, get the garter, and they always play some type of song. We definitely did literally something that I've never heard of anybody else doing before. <laughs> I really wish you would have put um, Preston's lightsaber up, you know, in in the thing though. Oh, thought we, about uh, it, but then I didn't want to taint it. So. so when I when I uh, when I had to go up under her dress to get the whole thing, we definitely did that to the Star Wars Imperial March. <laughs> Totally so, did. And so it did the dun 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 And as soon as it did the dun 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 nope. I, I went up under the dress and we we were joking around like we were going to put um we were gonna put our son Preston's uh, lightsaber, we were gonna put it on the inside <laughs> of her Well first it was a baby. A baby yeah. doll. Yeah, first we were gonna we were gonna put like a, a a baby doll in there, but we figured that's probably gonna be in really bad taste. <laughs> so you know, I love I love shock humor as much as the next guy, but you know we decided probably not a good idea. And so, oh, I hate this guy. Nasty Knight sucks. He's I'm, a. Well, I mean he's, he's a he's a dick. Well, he does that little rapid strike thing, and it's bullshit because you can't. There's no way you can get out of it. If he hits you with it, you're just you just have to sit there and take it up the ass. But um, yeah, well, eventually he's gonna take it up the ass. Uh, he so will. It doesn't really matter. And now there's more putty. Um, and so. We were gonna have it so that I I would pull um, his lightsaber out, and then you know I'd be like, oh, what the hell is this? And I you know I'd put it off to the side and I'd go back under, and then I was gonna pull out his uh, his Kylo Ren mask, and be like, what is happening? And you know just like and have a couple things that I'd take out, and then I'd actually you know have it, um, but we had, we'd ended up not having time to do that, so I just took the thing out like normal. Um, it was super funny. We actually we we kind of rigged it. So that um, my uh, my cousin Corey and her boyfriend has been together for a really long time. We we kind of rigged it so that they would be the ones catching the bouquet and the garter for all the you know good luck stuff because they were realistically some of the only people that hadn't been married yet that were at our at our wedding. So we we kind of rigged it for that. It was super cool though. Really, you're getting your ass kicked by Putty. Hmm. Uh, oh, hit a bunch of buttons. I have been. There we go. Okay, no, you're good. You're good. Luckily, his his health is he's still lower than yours, so you just gotta you gotta keep giving him that jump kick. Oh yeah, oh you're good. You're super good. Oh, damn, he's got that he's got that block game up on on par right now. Um, so yeah, it was it was his ass. it right, was awesome. We actually we had everything set up too where. The, uh, usually, like with a lot of weddings, even if it's at the same venue, they'll have the ceremony done somewhere different from where the reception is. But we actually consolidated it into one thing, and uh, we we uh, we actually had everybody seated, and then uh, like in their seats for where the reception would be, 
and then we came down through the middle of all of that, and we had our ceremonies right there in front of them, so everybody was already seated in their in their spots, and it was it was awesome. Um, I had to try super super hard not to buckle my knees and just keel over and and pass out during the ceremony, or you know yeah have the waterworks because that totally almost happened when she started walking down the aisle. I was talking myself up the whole way. I was like, oh god. You, know, you, you got you got to hold it together. I can't start, you know, I can't start crying right now. Otherwise, I'm never going to stop doing it, and it's going to be embarrassing. Even though it's my wedding, and it shouldn't be, but you know, it's just my social anxiety coming out. And uh, ooh. and uh, it was it was good though. And the the, the guy that uh, our pastor that officiated the wedding was super cool. He he had like all these really cool little like personal bits in there. He actually talked about my YouTube channel while we were in there. It was super funny. Because uh, that was information that I totally did not give him. He, uh, before, uh, like, a, about a week before the wedding, he gave us a questionnaire to fill out about just, like, some different personal pieces of information about us and whatnot. And he was just gonna, you know, kind of use that as, as some material about, like, yeah, what things do you like to do together? And what's your favorite thing about, you know, about, um, about him, about her, that sort of thing. But he took it one step further, and, like, a few days before the wedding, I noticed that he had followed me on Instagram and on, on, uh, on Facebook. And so, naturally, um, on Instagram especially, I've posted some things, you know, off and on over the, over the years about my YouTube channel, and he kind of found out about that. And while we're up there doing our vows and stuff, he, uh, he totally threw a little thing in there about, you know, me, uh, you know, I won't have to play video games alone anymore, or, you know, talk, you know, talk about the games to myself <laughs> anymore, I'll, I'll have her with me. As and, I'm uh, sitting here oh, silent as shit. Oh shit, it's the Green Ranger part? Oh no. Okay. <laughs> this part is awful. I forgot about this. The Green the Green Ranger part of this is really frustrating. Because don't you have to fight Green Ranger and then who? Okay, so what I have to do in this, I fight Green Ranger and I fight Gold, uh, Goldar, Goldar in this. But the thing with this is, is that not only do I have to fight them as this, so I have two bosses in essence, I also have to fight both of them in uh, my Megatron. Uh huh. And you only, you, and your, I don't think that your health bar re uh, refills either. Not that no. I remember. And no. you, you actually have to fight like both, like the, both of them in full. As it's been going so far, like you'll fight them for a minute. And then, you know, one of them will disappear, and then you'll fight the bigger one. This time, mm -hmm. you have to fight them both all the way. As yes. far as far as I remember. Yes, that's true. But they do give you more life um, when you start fighting the other person. So oh, they, they do refill it a little bit. Okay. They do refill it a little bit, because for they are supposed to not, technically not be easy people to Yeah, this this was beat, actually but for me um, I could beat this whole game in 45 minutes. It may even be quicker than that. So when we when we did this uh, when we did our run the first time of this a while back when I when I bought her uh, this game for uh, uh, for her birthday back in September um this was the only this was the only level in the entire game that we had to use a continue on. It was the only one. No, Otherwise it wasn't. Um, this wasn't the one I needed the continue on. No, it's the one where you're fighting in like the desert or whatever. Not that was the one. Um, but yeah, it, it was frustrating. It got to the point where she actually she uh, enlisted me to do it, uh, and it was hard, man. It was it was legit hard. The, the Green Ranger is a little shithead because he does that little move where he he does that little spark across the ground thing, um, but he's got just like all these little cheap ass moves. And he'll go. And at the end of the day, he's a ranger just like everybody else. He is. He'll he'll totally go into this little mode though, where he will block like everything if you if you let him. But you can also totally cheese him, and if you can time it right, you can do that uh, that jump kick, and it will land every time. <clears throat> that shouldn't have killed him. Nope. Oh no! Scared. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Now you, now you have to go and and fight him. So she actually makes both Goldar and Green Ranger tall. So you don't play a uh, Green Ranger as a as a Zord. You have to play him with you being a Zord and him being a Ranger still. So you don't get to play his Zord until after you beat this level. Mm -hmm. In which case, because he's now a Power Ranger, you also get his Zord, or you can have this the uh, common Zord, or you can mix them, which tends to be the the popular one. Personally, I like 
Um, I like Megazord better. I like Megazord. I will use... Um, the other one? I'll use the other one for certain things. Cyclops, I'll use the the mix. So I'll use a uh, Megazord and I'll use... Um, oh, here he comes. And there we go. Here he comes. Also, I totally hate Green Ranger's stance. It's so bothersome. He's got like this one hand like way up here. He's like, look at my glove! Isn't it pretty? But, yeah, what are you gonna do? And then he does like this little cheap ass, the little cheap ass uh, uppercut thing is so annoying. I hate it. <laughs> Him as a Zord like this is not easy to, to beat. Yeah, he's... As you can tell, I mean, I'm not getting my ass kicked, but I'm definitely. Yeah, he, he's, he's, um, he's definitely giving it to you a little bit, he though. He gives it to me. He, he doesn't make it very easy to to kick his ass. Oh, yeah. Your best defense with him is to get him cornered, if you're going to play this, oh. mainly because um, he'll fuck you up. He doesn't. He doesn't have a sword. He will. He will fuck you up if uh, if need be. Oh, all right. You got and that stage is clear. I thought you had to fight them all. The, I thought you had to get their health bars all the way down. No. Nope. Huh. All right. This stage is clear. The oh, next one. now you have to fight him in his sword. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I rem I'm slowly remembering this a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah, he's got to play his little flute thing. So here is Green Ranger Zord, all of you it's, awesome uh, people that know exactly who this is. It's, uh, yeah, Dragon Zord. I didn't want to say it and be no, wrong. No, that's right. <laughs> it's, so, it, it's been a long time since I've watched or dealt with Power Rangers in any capacity. As, as you guys can tell, um, I'm going between a couple of people, and I only ever go through a couple in here. Um, I use Pink Ranger usually for the very first level, mainly because it's a simple level. Nothing really huge or important about it. When it comes to Tommy, no matter what, I will always use Red Ranger. Always. Doesn't matter. And I think, uh, personally, when it comes to the two, they have similar fighting styles. So that's why I can go for him. And it doesn't bother me. Plus, she's also horribly racist and won't pick the Black Ranger. All right, so there we go. <laughs> this is uh, being said about the Jew. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. She is very, very Jewish. I did. She is. I she wonder. is. She is super Jewy, and I love her. So that's good. All right, Zord battle. Oh my God. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna just go in right now while they're not paying attention. Um. Yeah. This. 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 This fight can be kind of annoying too. But. Well, he has his tail. And his tail can stun you. So be exude the the utmost amount of, of caution here. Mm -hmm. Oh, he'll he'll give you the ounce of respect. This Zord is not the easiest of Zords to to beat. He gives you. He'll, he'll give you. He'll, he'll give, give you a run. run for your money. Luckily, you have more money than he does, so you're good. But let's see. Uh, what else? What else did we uh, did we? Did we do? Oh, um, so when we <laughs> when we did toasting, um, well, when everybody else did toasting, one of the uh, one of the highlights of that was her mom. Her mom goes up, and uh, you know she she did the the whole you know kind of the pretty standard fare really. You know, I want to wish you guys the the you know the best of luck in in your new marriage and all this stuff and. And then, right at the very end, and I was kind of waiting for her to do it, she peppers in, it's, it's an inside joke that, that, um, that she has with all of us, is because we're, we're living over at her house right now. You know, she'll always crack a joke of like, ah, get the fuck out of my house. Well, without the F-bomb. Yeah, obviously at the wedding she didn't, she didn't say fuck, because half of the room would have been like, oh boy. <laughs> but she's like... So like I wish you guys the best of luck. You guys are gonna be great together, and uh, get, get out, out of my of house. house. <laughs> and it was really funny. I I feel like a lot of people probably didn't know how to react to it right away, but I immediately started just busting up oh, laughing. And so I think it kind of broke the tension of it, but it was super funny. And then uh, and then I'm trying to think of what anything else. Well, that I sat there and told her. Uh, I told her to come here really quick, and so she kind of got a little bit closer to me after she did her speech, and was like, "Fuck you." <laughs> Because that's our term of endearment. It, it really and, is. And not in a mean, you know, way. We don't hate each other. My mom is ne obviously next to Adam, my my best friend. But um, that's just something that it has taken her and I a long time to to get to. It's taken us 
20 something plus years to uh, get as close as we are. And. Uh, Tommy, open your eyes! You're being controlled like a puppet! Oh my god! <laughs> As I have a gun pointed to your head. Open your eyes or I'm gonna blast you to kingdom come, motherfucker. <laughs> I love how his shit just melts away. He does. Oh, my suit. Oh, everybody knows my identity. I'm Oz from American Pie. Right? <laughs> That's what he looked like right there. It's driving me mad. Oh, shell shock. Shell shock with... oh I, I have never understood... His cost, like his whole shtick. Why does he have? Why does he have a traffic light attached to his head? It just looks like a damn traffic light. It, it is. That there's no way that's not a traffic light. That is 100% a traffic light. That's all that You're could possibly. You're looking at graphics. Be. Stop being a butt stain. It's it, that. that <clears throat> despite what the graphics are, there's no other interpretation for what that could possibly be. He has a traffic light on his head. That's all I like that his biggest defenses in this world is scratching you and a baseball bat. Oh, and he flips you back with his uh, with his head. That's I mean, about apparently, it. apparently, she thought that you know that the Power Rangers could be taken down by traffic by you know playing a rousing game of red light green light. <laughs> I'm going to turn on the red light. You have to stop so I can slap you in your tits. Oh, that or you know playing Simon Says. Yes, he's like I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> He's like Simon I'm... says. <laughs> Simon says, "Don't move," and I'm gonna slap Simon you in your. Simon says, "Don't worry about He's it." He's like, "I'm gonna slap you in your tits," because this is a children's show, and that's something that really happens a lot. I can't wait for Cyclops. His he is gonna be my absolute favorite. Cyclops. Yes. <laughs> I love the way that last putty. Oh, they all die the same way. They they flip upside down and then they land up just on their face. It's actually really funny. Oh, I got didn't die that way. And no, just so you guys know, I know that there is no one named Cyclops, but I call him that because he practically has like one damn eye. Since when could putty people like do Dragon Ball Z instant transmission? When was that a thing? They're Saiyans. Huh? They're Saiyans. A apparently, she likes to piss me off by <laughs> calling by calling Saiyans Saiyans. No, I call them scions. <laughs> and scions, because you know they're. they're I the, know what it is. They're damn the. It. I, she knows what it is. So I'm, it's I'm not, a Dragon Ball Z fan, so it's not. <laughs> but she she calls them scions. You know the the fully now defunct company, uh, car manufacturer owned by Toyota, I think. I think I read something somewhere yes. that, that happened. But every time she does it, it just makes me just go. <sighs> I love the face he makes. He gets the same way that I do when someone says things about uh, cosmetology incorrectly. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh! Son of a he bitch! Did I hate the, when he does that. He did the red light. I didn't think he could actually do anything with it. I red never... light, green light. <laughs> oh damn! That was that was funny. I totally did not know that he could actually do anything with his traffic light attachment. Oh shit. Also, by the way, um, for those of you that are Journey fans out there, um, you would be very pleased to know that our very first song that we danced to together was Faithfully, because that's the that's like one of the ultimate songs in the world. So there's there's that piece of information for you. And when we were when we were just like playing regular music and and you know, rocking out and whatever. There is footage of it somewhere, but I will not post it because it's not actually available yet. But there is documented video evidence on this planet of me doing the whip and nene. It is a thing that happened. It actually happened. I refused to let it happen until we got to that moment and then it happened anyways. So that is a thing that took place in this world. And the only place that realistically that would ever happen was at my own wedding. <laughs> Or probably at my daughter's wedding, whenever that comes about. But, yeah. But realistically, in another like twenty years, when she gets married, or whatever. You hope it's twenty. Or whatever. Yeah, I hope it is twenty years. I'd rather it not be ten. Um. But you know, whenever it is that uh, that she gets married, more than likely that song will be so far outdated that nobody will even give it the time of day. You fucking cocksucker. Mm-hmm. Just die. Yeah, he will. He's, yeah, you got a long way to go. I don't give a shit. 
He's a turtle! He kind of reminds me of Slash from Turtles in Time a little bit, just with, you know, the obvious difference of there being a fucking traffic light on his dome. But other than that, he actually bears a fairly decent resemblance. Oh, does that hurt? That is gonna hurt more. You're gonna feel it. Feel it tomorrow, and you know what else? No hmm. Arnica for your ass. No. No, he's he not getting any of it. I hope you don't come back for it. I hope your mother and all of your fucking brothers and sisters feel it too. Oh, well, they will. They're gonna get shell shocked. <laughs> uh, that, was, that was a terrible joke. That's fine. That's, that's... Suck on my animatronic parts. Mm hmm. Blow my attachment. Stage clear. No, you weren't kidding. I'm like blowing through this shit. Yeah, I, you know, I thought about doing this in two parts, but we're not even at 30 minutes yet. We're, we're just gonna do it in one shot. Paluticorn? Is that what I read? Yeah. His name is Paluticorn. He likes pollution. He likes pollution and corn, apparently. Well, it's a unicorn. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm sticking with my initial judgment on him, is that he enjoys pollution, and he also enjoys of corn. Of the unicorn variety. No, just regular corn. He like he was his backstory. Whatever. I'm just gonna make up a backstory for him. He oh, didn't we do this last time? We had a backstory for this fucker. I don't know. Probably. He was he was born by also being dropped in the same vat of chemicals at Axis Chemical Laboratory. The Joker was. Um, but right after that, instead of you know him getting out and going and getting his face fixed up or whatever, um, somebody. Somebody took him and threw him into a vat of creamed corn. And so, you know, now he had, you know, radioactive pollution all over his face. And uh, he also was comprised at least 45% of, of Nally brand, or no, Del Monte brand cream corn. So, you know. That, That's the gross kind, too. Yep, that basically means that any meaningful relationships he could ever have with anybody for the rest of his life was... was oh, all, my God! What kind of bullshit is that? happens. Oh, well, apparently it's the only move he's doing. Do you have to knock him out of the air? Oh, no. I know. Here we go. Now, now, we, now we got it. That was that was some cheapy little bullshit there. It's Goldar. Goldar's cheap. I mean, he is, but that's that, that move was at least about eight-tenths of a full piece of bullshit. Like, that's, that's like, that's like the move when, you know, you're playing a fighting game and... Oh, there he is. There's polluted corn. <laughs> there he is. He even looks like he's a little bit irradiated. He uh, he survived the fallout from Chernobyl. He was part of the Tunguska blast event. Yeah, don't worry. I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill him. He's got he's got a little bit of a little bit of uh, uh, Balrog in him from from Street Fighter 2. He's got kind of that shoulder charge thing that um, that Balrog does. But. Nobody can survive the power of the sauce, with the sauce being the jump kick in the corner. Uh, he's a fast little fucker, though. Oh, yeah. I love that, by the way, I love that Goldar is the guy that you fight, like, almost every stage. <laughs> he just, he he's always... He's the go-between. I also think that maybe he uh, maybe he has like a fetish that he he enjoys the pain. We don't know that he could he could very well be one of those people that in you know he's a what is it a sadomasochist is that he's the deal? A sadomasochist. So you know he enjoys the pain and he loves doling out pain, and his safety word is banana. <laughs> it's not yellow. Nope. Yeah, polluted corn is no more. Captain Planet would be very happy at the result of that fight. Me, me, Nolly, so far, hey, when he gets tall! Oh yeah, I forgot. It's all like nursery rhymey. <laughs> oh, really? You're gonna go with, uh... Well, you said you said I was racist, so I'm proving that I'm not. See, the, the, the new question comes up now, because both, um, both, um, What's-His-Face and Kimberly are not there. They are they are not present in this fight right now. So what are they out doing? Are they are they oh they're having Valentine's Day sex. <laughs> it's what everybody thought they were always doing. You're killing me right now. 
and they may or may not be getting special toys created for them by Alpha 5. He's like, oh, I've got some, I got this hot shit for both of you. Fuck. Fuck. He's like, I've got two. Fuck. He's like, I've got two-sided dildos for you because, hey. Stop it. <laughs> He's like, You're killing me! Stop! <laughs> Literally! Stop it! Oh yeah, no, we got it. You're good, you're good. You're, 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 you have, you have the upper hand now. And he's got his full hand in her. Now yeah, you've, 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 you've kind of restored order here. Don't oh, jinx me! No, you're good, you're good. You're totally good. Oh, come on, come on, yeah, give him the long dick of the law, yeah, you you literally kicked him so hard that he pixelated, <laughs> they're like, alright, pixelate this bitch, <laughs> they're like, alright, Polluticorn has been defeated, now where did they go, <laughs> she's like, <laughs> oh wait, no, wait, wait, what's going on, oh, oh, it's my oh, this, final oh this is the last one, He's like, get them out of their sex toy escapades okay, and make them fight where... me. This is where you get to ah, Oz, fresh out of his poetry recital. And you have to fight Everybody. all of the bosses. But all with reduced health for some reason. Well, because you have to fight all of them. Mm -hmm. They gave them they gave them reduced health because they're still you know too full of pizza at this point. Well, mainly him. Well, they they had they had a pizza party, you know. It's, it's though it's the participation medals thing, you know. They they all wanted to feel like they accomplished something, even though every one of them lost. And so, you know, it, it makes them feel better about themselves. Oh my god. Okay, Pluticorn is is he's he's a little pissed. I think he's upset at the fact that I was talking about. He's uh, mad at you were talking shit. He's mad that I was talking about, you know, Red and Pink Ranger using double-sided sex toys on each other. And so, you know, he, he's like, he's like, hey man, even for me, being comprised, you know, entirely out of radiation and corn, that's going too far. The Nasty Knight. Got himself a new, a new paint job. Mm -hmm. I think he was, uh, he was trying to get a little bit more in touch with his feminine side, going with that, uh, that powder blue. You know, it's 2018. You, you want to identify as whatever you want, go right ahead. He wanted to go with blue. Mm-hmm. Okay, he's getting a little crazy with that, uh, with that sword there. We have to understand Tommy's also a weaker ranger as far as his, uh, skill. His, his battle prowess. Truth be told, by the way, this is a random story, and it just I just it reminded me of it, um, for some reason. Um, and I might as well tell it before I run out of time. So when I was probably like seven years old, six or seven years old, when I used to watch Power Rangers all the time after coming home from school, um, I was just getting ready for T-ball. And <laughs> I definitely, in one of my games, in one of my, in one of my games that we ended up winning like 36 to 1 against, uh, against, I don't remember the name of that team that we beat, but they were so bad. I hit a triple in one game. And, uh, and my mom was telling me, if you, if you, if you get a really good hit, then, you know, you should, you should do, you know, you should, you know, look at the camera and, and wave at us or something. Uh, cause, you know, my mom and dad being my mom and dad, they always wanted and to have I'm video and photograph, um, confirmation of everything that ever happened in, in my life. Which is fine. And Ooh, I am dead. Ouch. That's okay. That's okay. It happens. You almost made it through the entire game without dying, though. That's that's damn impressive. You're gonna be green again. You're gonna you're gonna go with bread and butter. Um, so in the game, I, I definitely I just totally knocked the shit out of this ball, and I got a triple. And <laughs> I don't know what came over me, but when I got to third base after I was called safe, I totally did the little the little like jig dance move that uh, that the Black Ranger does in uh, in the opening. Uh, the opening, um, you know, credits thing of the of the TV show, and my <laughs> I remember my mom looked at me like, "What the hell was that?" 
What kind of weird little move was that? And the uh, the other kid that was playing third base, he knew, totally knew. he he knew exactly what it was from. He's like he's like that was the Black Ranger. That was cool because you know when you're playing in T-ball, there's no such thing as like real competitive rivalry between teams. It's just kids playing and you know being excited about it. And so he, he totally ended up doing. Um, one that, you know, one of the other things, and we both, like, totally laughed about it. It was fucking awesome. And that's, like, just a randomly fond memory that I have of, uh, of, of T-Ball and Power Rangers for, you know, for one reason or another. There we go. Okay, here we go. This is, this is where, this is where the rubber meets the road. So is, is Red Ranger, like, the actual strongest one in the game? Him and Pink, I think, are. Okay. Yeah, see, I didn't know if there was actually, like, any tangible difference between, like, their actual, you know, battle prowess or whatever. The I... weakest one is Tommy, followed very shortly by, uh, Blue Ranger. And Yellow? Nope. Black, then Yellow, then Pink, then Red. Fair enough. That's actually kind of impressive that, you know, the Game Gear being a fairly limited system, you would think that they would just... For a game like this, it's like, ah, we'll just throw them all in there and, you know, make them totally even and people can just pick the ones that they like the best. You know, they'll, they'll pick their favorite ranger and they'll be fine because they're all, you know, perfectly the same. Uh, kind of cool that they actually, you know, gave them a little bit of, you know, attribute differences. Attribute, not attribute, by the way. I can't believe I said that. Okay. Okay, now, this is this is, is This is the last deal, sword. huh? Goldar, ride in Cyclopsis and smash them as I throw this thing like 50,000 like light years down through the solar system or Cyclopsis whatever. Cyclopsis is the most fucked up but most awesome Zord I yeah, think dude, ever. Yeah, dude, look at, look at that shit. That's tight. You see what I mean? Like, he's some massive. This is the one that you don't fuck with people. Mm hmm. Aside the part that he has part of the McDonald's golden and arch then... on his forehead. Black Panthers! Hey, they were doing it. The only thing that was missing was them looking down. But they were, they basically were doing no, this. No, that was Black Ranger that did it. He did. But for he, obvious well, no, reasons, he, 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 did, he did it in his heart. He did it. He, he did it in his heart. Okay, here we go. Time for Cyclopsis to meet his Makeropsis. <laughs> of all the Zords, he's the hardest Zord. Yeah. He just, he just fucking Hadouken you. <laughs> Oh my god. This is this is not this is, this is rough. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Holy shit, man. When was the last time you saw me get my ass kicked this badly? Um that was definitely that was the that was the worst I've ever seen you getting beaten by him. Like That was rough. That was rough. But infinite continues is a good thing. I think you should go with, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Back to double-sided sex toys for those two. They're watching from the sideline, cheering on. <laughs> okay. While they're, you know, railing each other. I'm gonna, don't, don't be doing that stuff. No, 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 you're good. This is, this is, this is the final battle. You can't be doing that shit on a final battle. I definitely still have strawberry jam on my wrist. And it's pulling my wrist hair, and it fucking hurts. That's what that's what'll power you through. See, the the belching is helping you bypass his his defense. <clears throat> See, this is what I was saying in in general sense. Like, if you can time it just right, th those jump kicks are absolutely lethal. You just you just gotta you basically just gotta keep him kind of at screen's length distance until you go in for your attack because if you stay too close to him that's when he'll start doing all of this crap it's all right okay, i'm froze there nope. we go oh boy oh it's heating up now oh boy come on come on babe you got it you fucking got him you got like one more one more hit one more there it is all right well done she did it! She has destroyed Cyclopsis, and she beat it literally in 40 minutes. <laughs> that's exactly, I believe I said 40 or 45 minutes. That's, that's... 45 minutes was that is, uh, the last one. This one's now 40. I keep topping my record. Urgh, I won't forget this, Power Rangers! 
Someday, somewhere, I will get my revenge. No, she doesn't. But for now, we're getting Ty. You have done well. Rita shall be licking her wounds for a while. <laughs> and by wounds, I mean her butthole. She's actually a cat. Now and forever, use your power for world peace. No. Can you bring me back a Carl's Jr. milkshake? My chin needs some more. Chocolate. <laughs> All right, people. It has been done. She so, did it. Per your guys' request, you wanted to see me play so badly. Made sure that I was able to do that for you. And what better day Puku, to do Puku. it? Puku Puku. <laughs> that name's great. What better uh, time to do it than than Valentine's Day? So showing my love and appreciation. Thank you guys so much for always having. Uh, open and welcome arms for me being on the channel. I appreciate it, and it means more than you'll ever know. So, it was a blast, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Hope you guys yes. do safe and awesome stuff. And, uh, and make it special. Make no, it special. No double-sided sex toys. No double-sided dildos. No, unless you're really, truly into that. Sing Single-sided single single ones are fine, but double-sided ones are off the table. Um. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Well. <laughs> so, until then, everybody. This is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, and my lovely wife saying thank you guys for watching. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Lots of love. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Take care, everybody. Bye.